Lunar Pilsner is a Sierra's Nevada take on a German style Pilsner. Now this is the original session beer. Let's get this in the glass and see what it tastes like. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Arkansas Beer Reviews. Nooner Pilsner. I bought a six pack of this <clears throat> a few weeks ago, and this is the last of those. I just stuck it, got it, had it in the freezer for about an hour because it was hot. I should have stuck it in the fridge last night and started cooling it down, so pop the top on this. Be drinking this out of my slits glass that I enjoy. I know it's not a real big glass, but I enjoy drinking out of it. This beer has a what? About a two finger head, slightly carbonated, uh, golden color, of course. Got s sweet malt present on, on the on the nose. Uh, this beer is good. I've had it before. Or we had five of them, as you know. Uh, this beer has an ABV of 5.2 percent, IBUs of 38. <clears throat> Untapped gives it a 3.42 out of 90,550 ratings. Go ahead and get a taste on it. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> I enjoy my Coors, uh, which I know those are two different beasts. Uh, we're talking about a craft beer here and a uh, American style lager. Uh, they're totally different in taste. <clears throat> I like the Coors. Uh, it has a banana taste to it that I've discovered uh, that I really enjoy. So I would not quit drinking those to drink this, but I would drink this and I would buy it again. I know I'm always shooting down to the end of the video, but I'm just telling you. You get some malt, malty sweetness right up front uh, with just a little bit of bite on the finish of it. Uh, say medium to light on the mouthfeel. It's very good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Boy, my sinuses are driving me nuts. Are that bothering y'all? I always get that junk all up in my head, and I get cleared out one day, and I guess I guess it's the weather changing. I don't know. It's, you know, it's, around here it's 70 degrees one day, then the next day it's 38. You know, so I don't know how it is where y'all are, where y'all you guys are at. Uh, I really like this beer. I can see myself buying it again. I wish it was a little bit colder. I like them a little colder than this, but even at this temperature, it's, it's really good. Maybe just a slight peppery uh, taste on the finish. There's a little bit of bitterness that hits you right here inside the jaw. After you swallow, it lingers maybe for a uh, couple of seconds, not very long. Um, but all in all, it's a good beer. If y'all, you know, if y'all ever had it before, uh, but if you haven't, let me know what you think about it. Uh, I think it's a good beer. I plan on getting some more uh, in this style and trying them out. Uh, Boulevard Brewing had one. I think it was called a Casey Field, which I never did try. Uh, which I do get Boulevard beers around here, but I haven't seen that one. So uh, maybe as the weather starts uh, warming up in springtime, if summer starts rolling around, they may uh, have that beer on the shelves. So I don't know how they do that beer. It's probably available year round, but I'm not sure on that. Well, it's a beautiful day here in Arkansas. That wind makes it a little cool, but it's nice outside. Uh, kind of wish we'd have a little winter to kill some bugs. I've been, been, been seeing mosquitoes around our area. Very 
there's not much to talk about. It's just a good beer. Uh, it's what it's uh, supposed to be. It's supposed to be a, a session type beer, a little flavor. So uh, that's what you get. It says on the back here, Nooner is our take on the classic German Pilsner, filled with bright, zesty, home, whole cone hop flavor with crisp, dry finish. The perfect pick for whatever the day may bring you. So, yeah, I would agree with that. Good beer. <coughs> Anyhow, this is Marvin, Arkansas Beer Reviews, and we will see you on the next one.